everyone. Welcome to Build Series in New York City. I'm your host, Lauren Moraski. It's springtime, which means it's wedding season and it's heating up. But as anyone who's planned a wedding knows, there's a lot to navigate, starting from the engagement all the way to the honeymoon. Here to help us with ideas, etiquette, trends, and more is Amy Conway, Editor-in-Chief of Martha Stewart Weddings, and yes, the one and only Martha Stewart. Hi. <laughs> Ladies, we are so excited to have you here. Thank you. It's bringing back a lot of memories for me because I was planning a wedding about three years ago around this time. And I know a lot of couples have gotten engaged recently. Has anybody in the audience gotten engaged recently? Okay, maybe a few. Um, and I've been to lots of weddings recently. Yeah, and, and what have you noticed when you've been to these weddings? Any trends? Um, well, I, no, I think the trend is to be as different as you could possibly be. Uh -huh. And the, loca uh, the locations are very diverse. Um, Amy is an expert on, on where everybody's going to get married. We destination weddings, all kinds of places. But last uh, weekend I went to a wedding uh, in the Bronx on Grand Concourse uh -huh. at the old post office. Oh, wow. That beautiful white building, it's a whole yes. block square. And, uh, and uh, the groom's father happened to just buy the building. But, um, <laughs> and he's going to probably turn it into a, an event space. But it is amazing. And it's still unfinished inside, but so beautiful for a wedding. Yes. And so unique. And I think that that really helped make that wedding a very, very special uh, event. Sure. Uh, and I think every bride wants to have a special Mar event. Martha's absolutely right. At our magazine, we've always been about personalizing the event, but that's what people are doing more than ever. They really want their wedding to really reflect who they are. So there's no cookie cutter weddings and really people, the, the biggest trend is to not follow the trends right. and to do your own thing. Right. Not to be the same old. You that's right. You want to be special. Yes. Right. When people get engaged, what's one of the first things they should do when planning a wedding? Because it becomes overwhelming. They should get married. <laughs> <laughs> that's what they should do. I, what the what shocks me is how long Long. Some people get engaged three years right. before a planned wedding, and um, and that's I think crazy. But um, but it's very difficult to find the venue, to find the minister's free time, to find the caterer, to find the florist, because um, because that's the nature of the business. But um, but I think uh, I think people wait too long to get married. Yeah, yeah. I, it would stress me out because I would be over analyzing all the details. Right. However much time you have, you'll fill it. If you're, right. you know, the royal wedding coming up, they're engaged for six months. And, right. you know, other people are engaged for, for years. But um, I think the most important thing before you do all of the fun stuff is you unfortunately have to do your budget and your guest list because you really, you can't book the venue and do the, all the other things that Martha was talking about. You shouldn't start trying on dresses until you've figured out who's coming and how much but, you have to spend. But girls try on dresses all I know, the time. That's true. <laughs> Even before they meet the guy. Right? Oh, they, that's true. They know what they're going yes, to wear so early true. on before. Uh, it's, it's so funny. I know what I'm going to wear when I get married next. What, uh, what, what, <laughs> do tell. <laughs> no, that. I'm not going to tell. But it's gorgeous. <laughs> We would love to see a preview of that. Uh, well, you know, that said, with the budget, I think that's a sticky topic. Uh, you know, what are some tips to plan the budget? Because you don't want to spend your whole salary and all of your savings on a wedding. No, you shouldn't go into debt for your wedding, I really believe, because there are lots of different ways to, to get married. But the, what you really need to do is have a real conversation with the people who are involved because as we know it used to be that the bride's parents would pay. Nowadays many couples pay themselves but perhaps with a contribution from each set of parents. So you just need to kind of have these difficult but honest discussions and figure it out because you don't want to go into your married life in debt. Sure. Are there any things that... And register yeah. for money. Right. <laughs> yeah, is that a... I was going to wonder, like uh, people give gifts and people give money. But in New York I find that a lot of people give cash. Faux pas? Uh, no. No, that's no. fine. Oh, okay. Any time. <laughs> yes. no. We'll take it. That's, yeah. a, that's the right. best thing. Yes. 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 And people also, people register for, you know, like a honeymoon fund is very common, and that's really become very acceptable. Yeah. But one thing, you know, people will say, like, what's one thing you shouldn't do? I've seen people who basically, you know, try to fundraise for their wedding, which I think is a no-no. That one, I think you have to draw the line there. Yeah. That's I, taken I, it a little I agree, yeah. yes. Yeah. I just went to another wedding the week before last. My assistant got married, oh. uh, and she had 700 guests. What? And her wedding started, she was dressed in her gown at 9 a.m. in the morning because it's a, it's a uh, Albanian wedding. 
and 9 a.m. she had to be dressed at her mother's house. Then she had to go to her mother-in-law's house. Then she had to go to uh, another venue. Then she had to go to my garden where, where she was photographed outdoors. Then to New Jersey to uh, where all of us were gathering as guests, 700 guests. Wow. And that's a, an exhausting day. And that, that's tradition, though. It's an Albanian tradition, I think. And, um, and, and I can understand that. And everybody looked so beautiful. And, and, but I don't know how they lasted for that many hours. And you possibly can't say hi to everyone. But that kind of wedding <laughs> must cost a fortune. Yeah. Well, that's a budget, budget there. Oh, yes. Beyond. Yes. I, I, we, you know, really, I 700 people is yeah, a Yeah, I mean, the guest list people. is the hugest factor yes. in determining... Yeah, budget. and that's my next question. How do you determine the guest list? Say you do have to have a budget. How do you determine who's coming? Do they, if you invited, someone invited you to their wedding, do you have to invite them to yours? Well, it depends on, on uh, what you are um, actually planning to do at your wedding. A small wedding, you have, uh, you have very little leeway for, for guests. Mm -hmm. And you have to really pick and choose immediate family, uh, closest friends, um, children. Do you want children or don't want children? And has to be made very, very clear uh, on the invitations. There's nice ways to do all of this. Um, but, uh, but then uh, the big Texas wedding where there's 21 attendants and, and um, a thousand people. I've been to that kind of wedding too, which are very, they're fun. Uh -huh. and they're, but the immense expense attached to such a wedding is, uh, is incredible. Yeah, it really adds up. Uh, you know, there are a lot of trends that we're seeing on the fashion mm -hmm. side of things too. I know you were just at a bridal event, right? Right, well actually it was just yeah. the bridal fashion week just yeah. finished. I had my last appointment this morning actually. So it's a, so fun because we go and we see all the runway dresses. There were there were definitely like some pale pinks, some pale blues, some like cafe au lait type colors, which is it's always so fun to see. So we get to see all the new trends, and I feel like things are either really super simple, like beautiful like satin fabrics and really simple silhouettes, or super you know festooned with all kinds of things. Feathers are really in right now. Lots of um, fringe as well, and lots of sparkle, like actual like metallic threads woven into the dresses. So you see a little of everything, and it it's it's so fun and um pants and we even saw some rompers on the on the runway. I was gonna ask, are there any shorts? There were shorts. Yeah. This is the first huh. time that we've seen you know, girls shorts. with great legs can get yeah. married in shorts yeah. now. Yeah. I don't yeah, know so what I don't know about the church. It depends <laughs> on what church you're at, but um. and a lot of those more fun things like little mini skirts and things like that. Brides might not get married in them, but they might wear them to the after party for dancing or they might wear them to the rehearsal dinner. Or under, the, under the big bouffant sure, skirt, sure. take it off and we there actually you are. saw some a romper with oh, a skirt did? over it. Oh. And they, you know when they were showing it to us they did the big reveal and took the skirt off and there were shorts under Yeah, we're seeing so fun. people wearing two dresses too. I think yes. Meghan Markle, who's getting married very is soon, saying, yeah, is saying that, that she might be wearing dresses. a couple of dresses. So. Oh, yeah. she'll probably have three or yeah. four. Yeah. Right? I mean, why not? Yeah. It's <laughs> Anything else that we're expecting with that wedding that you know of, the like, predictions? Well, they've released a lot of yeah. things. You know, we've seen the invitation. We know who, you know, about the cake and the flowers. Um, Did anybody from Martha Stewart weddings get invited? We were hoping that you would be invited. Uh. <laughs> you haven't, you, maybe it's still coming. Coming. Maybe we'll see. Coming, yeah. <laughs> so no, we we won't be there, but we're watching avidly like everyone else. And they, you know, she has said that her favorite flower is peonies, so near and dear to Martha's heart. And I know a lot of the other flowers will be local, you know, English flowers and from actually royal gardens. So that's you know that will be wonderful. But the dress is anyone's guess. God, and that's what everyone's doing. They're just guessing. You know, every right. there's so there are a lot of predictions. It's out a there. lot of speculation at this. It point. has to be Alexander McQueen, don't you think? Maybe. Yeah. That but well, she's I mean, American, though, so maybe she's going to have a I was American thinking dress. she might choose an American designer. Whatever it is, you know that it will just spark huge trends because those long lace sleeves that Kate yes. wore, uh, you know, we've seen, we've been seeing those for, you know, for years, ever, ever, ever since, since that wedding. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I want to play a little game. We talked a little bit about do's and don'ts, but I have a bunch here that I'd like to ask your okay. ladies' opinions on because you guys, you gals are the experts, okay? So a do or don't, cash bar. No. 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 Okay. Have you ever Hard been to no. one with a cash bar? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Gosh, actually, I, I, the I, horror. I, oh, actually, I, actually, I was. And I went home. <laughs> not that I, not that I wouldn't pay, but it's just, I mean, it's so stupid. Yeah. Because Don't, when you're throwing you know, a wedding, you're the host. So serve you're, iced yeah. tea if you have right. to charge. Right. You know. Yeah. So that's a big no-no. All right, cash gift we already talked about. Sure. All bring us the yes. money. Yeah. No, it's no faux pas. <laughs> that's fine. What about? 
the on the guest side of things, I've seen this. People sending the gift a year later, a year or two later. Is that you have okay? up to a year? Yeah. So that's still in. Uh, I'm guilty of that. Okay. <laughs> so one year, if you're going to the wedding, that's okay. Um, brides not wearing white. That's yes, okay. Yes. All good. Okay. Online invitations. Uh, it's so nice to get an invitation in the mail. It really is. But yeah. but again, it's. Um, it's the modern thing to do. Yep. I'm sending out online invitations to dinner parties now and to my, my Easter celebration was an online invitation and actually everybody came. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping they'd get lost, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> But uh, but it's 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 happening. Oh, okay. it you'll happening. start seeing it more and more. Um, and it's a little bit of a shame because one thing that's nice about the invitation is you're telling people from the start what the wedding is going to feel right. like. You set the right. tone and you can do that with a well-designed online invitation. But it's not quite the same. But it is. You'll see it more and more. So I don't think we can say that it's wrong. Right. It doesn't get lost in the mail. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> what about not including in-laws to be in the bridal party? Not including in, I mean, like sister in laws yeah. and things. If you can. That's fine. Right. Uh, yeah, I, but it is nice to include them if you can, depending why on your Why is such a pain to be a bride to me? <laughs> You can also always have someone, if you have people, you can Who have to do something Who wants to wear one else. of those dresses, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> My daughter was in so many weddings, and she she had all these hideous dresses. They're much nicer. They're, the bridesmaids' dresses are actually much, much more fabulous now. But um, but she gave them all to a costume uh, department of a high school. Oh, right. And they, oh, that's they so loved funny. it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they, you rarely wear them again. Uh, Very true. rarely. Even though but now, now the dresses are much nicer. They're nicer. Yeah. And there's a lot of mi mix matches. Yes. Uh, do we think that's a, a do? That doesn't oh, usually yeah, look so good. Oh, you oh, like yeah. that? Oh, I like I it. Okay, we <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be like anything goes, but if you no, give your, color, yeah, the same yeah. color and, or, you know, the same, you know, someone can be in like pink flowers and someone else can be in solid pink. So there's a lot of different ways you can do it. But you sort of do wanna, coordinated. Yeah, you want to kind of still exert a little influence yeah. over it. We don't want to clash there. Because right. you have to think about the photos. Right. 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 Yes. Uh, what about dogs at weddings? Yes. Yes. Sure, why I not? had a dog at my wedding. I hope yes. you guys, you guys But just make sure that. you have a minder with the dog. Because yes. the bride and groom shouldn't have to worry about where's the dog run off to. So make sure somebody's in charge of the dog. <laughs> exactly. Especially when the reception starts if they're not allowed to be in. Yes. Uh, ridiculously <laughs> large wedding parties, which apparently you were at. Oh, I, th I think they're so fun. They're fun. But, yeah. 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 They, and they look pretty in the pictures. Yes, yeah, they do. Just have it be in proportion with the size of your wedding. You know, you don't want to have a huge wedding party and a small wedding, but otherwise, why not? Right. Yeah, why not? Uh, trashing the dress after the wedding. I guess, what do you do with the dress after the wedding? Oh, you send yeah. it to Madame Paulette and have it <laughs> meticulously cleaned, and then you put it in a box and you keep it. Yes. <laughs> For your daughter. Yes. That, that's where mine is. It's in yeah. a box. I, right. I may never see it again. Maybe oh, never. my dress, my dr I was so skinny that my dress doesn't, didn't, never would have fit anybody else, ever. So it's, I have it. And you couldn't possibly get it even around a, an arm. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have it. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah. So that's, what did it look like? Um, white organdy, embroidered organdy with uh, a thousand little tiny buttons down the back. Just a tight bodice, low, like scoop neck, long puffy sleeves, and a big full skirt. Wow, beautiful. It was pretty. I made yeah. it. Those puffy sleeves are back. That's a huge yes, trend. Yes, that's beautiful. It's really, it's amazing. You didn't, you couldn't find them a couple of years ago, and now there's just so many different kinds of sleeves. Are but only back. bad thing was Jackie Onassis was first lady at the time. And um, she always wore those pillbox hats, so I fell for that. And I made yeah. a little pillbox hat with a veil. And, and I thought that was cute. Yeah, not really. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of the things that people do these days are like flower crowns instead of mm -hmm. veils. Is that a, a Oh, do? so beautiful. Beautiful, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Yeah. yes. Um, what about uh, putting the registry on the invite? No. No. I spread the word, you know, through, yeah. yes. through your people. Through your people. Say, yeah. How about a singles table? Or, an, you know, putting everybody at a single table. Oh, I think you have to know your guests, yeah. you know, because that could be fun or they could feel kind of relegated to the singles table. You right. have to know, you got to know the crowd. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, you can do ver very clever tables mm -hmm. with, uh, the, you know, oh, so-and-so is going to like so-and-so. You put them together, you know. Indulge them in that way. Yes. Right. And a little matchmaking never hurts at yeah. all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So thanks for playing that little game with me. We'll probably be talking a little bit more about do's and don'ts for the last few minutes mm -hmm. of this interview. But. There's also the honeymoon, and do you have you seen any honeymoon trends or uh, popular places? Well, to if you go? look on my Instagram, Martha Stewart 48, 
Uh, you'll see Shipa, that's my, my Albanian assistant. You'll see her in South Africa. She was there like the next day. I don't know how she got there so fast. But she was there with monkeys crawling all over her. Yeah. looking so utterly beautiful and so happy. So, uh, so it's off to a good start. Yeah, with yes. South Africa. That's a popular spot, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, people are really just getting so creative with their honeymoons too and really making it the trip of a lifetime. And if you don't have maybe the time or the money to do it right after the wedding, some people are doing it a few months later and doing a mini moon. So mm -hmm. that's a big trend, just doing just that, you know, three or four days right after the wedding to decompress. I do think that's really important, but maybe you do need a little time to save up and be able to take that really big dream trip. They're calling it demi moons and mini moons <laughs> exactly. and full moons. That's and... right. You've got the buddy moon, some people invite their friends. You've got the family moon, you know, people, if you have- Have you ever you know, gone on a honeymoon already? with other people? No. Oh, no, I did, you. I did. I had the best time. I went on, I went, I've gone on two honeymoons with my, with Mary friends. Fun. Where'd you guys yes. go? Yes. Uh, one, the one was to Sicily. Oh, nice. And we spent the entire time, my husband and I spent the entire time with our, our friends who had just gotten married. And we had, and it made it fun for them too, because they, I guess, you know, they needed, they needed some, some distraction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it was so fun. And then, um, and then I went to Italy on a, on a, on another fabulous honeymoon by myself with my friends. And that was, that was very nice. But what else so many people are doing is these destination weddings. Yes. He still thinks he's married to me too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> but even if you don't stay for the honeymoon, people love taking their friends and family with them for like the long weekend or even even yeah. longer than that for the wedding celebration. It's really nice. Like weddings are not, you know, a four or five hour affair anymore. They're yeah. really like a whole weekend usually. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I just make you make a weekend out of it. It's so yeah. much fun for the guests and for you. Right. So what about celebrity weddings? Are we seeing some trends in the celebrity space that are is translating to just the everyday? Secrecy. Every day? Secrecy. Mm -hmm. More secrecy. Mm -hmm. You know, not even an announcement of where it's going to be or when it's going to be. Uh, there, there. A lot of celebrities, I think, have uh, have uh, really want to have a little bit more privacy. Sure. And I think they're they're totally deserving. Yeah, it's hard to do with everything yes. these days with social media and yeah. paparazzi. Mm -hmm. DIY weddings are still popular, I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. what oh, are very. Some, what are some trip tips for that? Because that's a really tough thing to do is to plan your own wedding in that way. Right. You have to really know what your strengths are and if you have helpers, because it's some things that can be done in advance. You can make a favor, you know, if it's not something edible and perishable, you can do that months in advance. So that's a great thing to do yourself. Something like doing, if you think you're great at making flower arrangements, just doing your own wedding flowers is a ch like beyond a challenge, you know? So you have to understand what you're good at. And, you know, if your aunt offers to make a cake, it, you know, is she up to the task, you know? So you have to also be very kind of diplomatic when you're talking to people about helping, but you have to be practical because no matter what, there's so much that goes into a wedding and you don't want to be up, you know, for days on end in those final hours putting together all of these things. So you make your timeline and really do the things that you can manage yourself. But it's so yeah. gratifying when you, you know, when you have done things yourself, people are really proud and it's a really nice personal touch, but just you can't drive yourself completely crazy with it. Sure. I mean, there's, it's that personal touch is what we talked about from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's really nice to see, but it's hard to actually achieve when it's, you're doing it all, everything on, right. on your own. What's the biggest mistake you think brides and grooms make when it comes to wedding planning that you're just like, okay, here's the one takeaway you should have. Mm -hmm. I think you have to not try not to get too stressed out about everything okay. and remember what the goal of this is, that it's to be married and it's really, it's, you know, it's not an end point. You know, you're not trying to get to the finish line of the wedding. It's the beginning of your life together. So just try to keep it all in perspective. Okay. All right. I know this is one of your um, covers and we have another cover for the next issue. I right. think this that's is coming on up. Now. Here yeah, it is. This one will this be out soon. Beautiful. Yeah. This that's was great. a destination wedding and so pretty. It's beautiful. So what can we expect in this issue and what, you know, how do you, how do you pull something like this together? How long does it take to pull an issue like this together? Yeah, we have, we have a long lead time and we're always, so this issue has a real emphasis on real weddings, which are so great. And we mm -hmm. work with some brides and grooms in, before their wedding and we get involved and we work with them and we help them. And then we also have vendors from, from mm -hmm. all over the world sending us weddings that they've worked on. 
and so that's actually a super fun part of our job is getting to look at all these beautiful pictures yeah. and really figure out the ones that are going to make for the best mix in the magazine that will really resonate with our readers. So this issue, we also have, of course, a fashion story. We've got other ideas as well, but we've got a lot of really inspiring real weddings and also a lot of honeymoon content in you know, here. Amy, as editor-in-chief, has um, continued. This, this magazine, and we've been publishing it for 25 years, 26, I guess. Yeah. A lot's and, changed. In and time. A yeah. lot's changed, but a lot's the same. And uh -huh. we've never had a repetitive cover or mm -hmm. a repetitive edit inside. There's, uh, we have the most, most creative people working on this magazine. They, are, they do the most beautiful flowers, the most beautiful cakes, the most beautiful uh, inspirational ideas for um, all aspects of all kinds of weddings. So it's a really useful um, go-to mm -hmm. for for uh, the bride and the groom and the planners and the caterers. Uh, people are constantly, you know, I, every florist I know says, oh, <laughs> the first thing they show me is your magazine with, yeah, a, right. with a bouquet that they must have. And yeah. so that's, that's, a, that's why the inspiration is, uh, and it's hard to think of what you want. It's right. great to do your research mm -hmm. using magazines like this, using books. We have several wonderful weddings books. Mm -hmm. I published my first weddings book, was it 1987? I think so. 19, 19, I can't remember, 1990, I think. Seems like the Pleistocene era, mm -hmm. but it's uh, yeah. not that so long ago. <laughs> but um, but so beautiful mm -hmm. and still very good ideas in it. Yep. And uh, and we've published uh, a weddings cake um, book. We've published an, another big weddings book, Inspiration. Mm -hmm. So there's uh, there's a lot to learn from doing a little research. Mm -hmm. Sure. And of and course, you have your companion website as well. That yes, absolutely. absolutely. Where we have oh, yeah. a lot more content on there as well, a lot of etiquette type content. But yeah, a lot of there may be trends that come and go, and things do change. But a lot of the ideas that we have are really timeless. And so, you know, when I know someone who's gotten engaged, I often send a bunch of back issues, you uh -huh. know, because the cakes, the flowers, you know, they hold up beautifully, even from 25 years ago. Great. Well, um, I could talk to you ladies all day about weddings because there's <laughs> so much content to cover, but we have some questions from the crowd Great. before okay. we let you go. So who's first? Right here. Hi. 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 Um, we were just talking about, as a guest, we love to give money. Mm -hmm. And it, the rule of thumb used to be we to give at least as much as it costs for you to attend the wedding. Has that changed or is there a better way to gauge oh, that? Oh, 10,000 is a good one. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's what you can afford, of course. And it's, uh, there's no rule of thumb. No, I don't think money. so. No, it's what, what you feel comfortable giving and, and whatever you do give should be, um, should be you know, accepted with great pleasure. Yes. Great, great advice. Okay, who's next? Hi. 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 Um, I was wondering, um, what are your thoughts about wedding planning for couples who aren't are in like long distance relationships? I think so a wedding planner is necessary? great. <laughs> yeah. 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 Because my sister's getting married and she wants to get married within a year, but like her and her fiance don't live together. So I was like, so they live. They're having they, a long distance yeah, relationship. Long Does distance either of them live where the wedding will be? They don't even. It, that, they're exactly. not there yet. They have no idea. Yeah, no. what they want well, to do. Well, with your sister should hire somebody that she feels very comfortable with, and that she knows your that her fiance will get along with. I mean, that's yeah, really what it's. Yeah. And that's once they figure out where they where they are going to get married, they just need to make sure to schedule a couple visits there. And if they're getting married where she lives, he needs to come for a couple right. very important strategic meetings, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So it's going to just be communication and making sure that you get a couple of good visits in there. Because even if you plan a wedding all the way around the world, if you have a good wedding planner in that location or at the resort or wherever it might be, you might be able to just go one time. And if you trust the right. people that you're working with, it can all come together beautifully. Thanks. All right. Uh, one more question here. Martha, you've accomplished so much and was successful with everything. Do you have a big dream? What else would you like to accomplish? Any big projects? Um, I'm always working on many, many different projects, and uh, and I guess um, right now it's uh, I, I'm, I've just published my 90th book, uh, Martha's Flowers, and we're doing lots of promotion for that and developing a garden business is uh, is my next kind of uh, intensive project. So we're making all kinds of things for the garden, nice. beautiful planters and pots and tools. Great. Well, thank you so much for those questions. And oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming by today. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks. Give it up one more time, Amy and Martha. Thank you.